Qi charging is nothing new. It's wireless charging that's been around since the iPhone 10, where you can charge your phone wirelessly. But now with Qi 2, they've added magnets based on Apple's MagSafe technology, which completely changes everything. MagSafe accessories have fundamentally changed the game on phone accessories, but they've been limited to iPhones until now. Qi 2 is a new charging standard baked into new phones starting now, which means that MagSafe-like accessories are coming to an Android near you. And with so many accessories on the market, which ones should you actually choose? I'm taking you through my top picks so that you can see which ones are actually worth the money. Use the chapters if you want to learn more about Qi 2 or specific accessories that you should choose. So MagSafe and Qi 2, what's the difference? MagSafe was made by Apple specifically for the iPhone equipped with 15 watt charging and magnets to connect wirelessly. MagSafe products are made to exclusively work on iPhone. Qi 2 is a broader standard which is built to be universally compatible with any Qi 2 compatible phones, which includes both iPhone and Android. This means getting a Qi 2 product future-proofs you as more and more devices start to adapt that technology, whereas strictly MagSafe products only work with iPhone. And if you're wondering when will we see Qi 2 coming out, it already exists on the iPhone 13 and up, and we expect to see a lot of Android phones adopting it mid to late 2024, and that all hopefully starts with the Google Pixel. I pulled together the most popular Qi 2 products, and the results were nearly a dominated market by ESR and Anchor, which makes sense because their MagSafe products were all great. I reached out to ESR and they agreed to sponsor this video, but they don't get to see it before it gets posted, so these are my genuine, unedited thoughts. Now I got a range of products from desk stands, wireless travel chargers, mini wireless chargers, car chargers, and even power banks. First up is ESR's mini wireless charger. The puck is really premium feeling, coming with a braided cable and USB-C on one end. I really like the look of this puck, but it definitely is a lot thicker than MagSafe accessories that I've reviewed, and I wonder if more tech had to be packed into this versus just MagSafe, which would explain that thickness. My favorite thing about this, and why I keep using ESR accessories, is the magnetic strength is next level. I really do find them the strongest on the market, so when they're attached to your phone, it isn't going anywhere. This is the most functional but cost-effective entry to Qi 2. It's just one charger, so you'll only charge one at a time, but it takes up basically no room and, ex and it's extremely portable. I look at this like your first step to Qi 2, if you just really want the necessities without getting crazy in functionality, but then also price. Next up, we've got the 3-in-1 wireless charger. This one is what you'd use on a desk or a nightstand. In the box, we have a portable Apple Watch charger, which you can buy on its own if you want, but we'll get to that later. You also get the stand itself, and they've also included a power cable and adapter, which is really refreshing and nice to see. This one has next-gen Qi 2 and MagSafe charging on the front, 5-watt charging for your AirPods or other wireless headphones in the base, and then a 5-watt removable charger on the back for the Apple Watch. And that's tucked in the back so you can still use your iPhone in portrait or landscape mode. I know other chargers we've seen have blocked the ability to go landscape because of the positioning of the Apple Watch charger, so this one is just perfect alignment here. You can also take this charger completely off and plug it in somewhere else by itself, which is just nice to have. The one thing I didn't love is that the angle of the phone mount isn't adjustable, so it's just sort of what you see is what you get on this one. This option is great for a static location like a desk. It's got great build quality, and overall I think it's a decent choice for your desk. They also have more flexible options on the site, including a 25 watt for faster charging, five in one or six in one options, which add more chargers than you will ever need. But all around, this one's a great choice. Next up, we've got the three in one travel charging kit. This is your most versatile option, both as a three in one, but also completely portable. In the box, you're getting that same portable Apple Watch charger color match to your model, of course. Then you're getting this really cool ESR branded travel case, which feels really sturdy and premium. Open it up and you've got spots for your charging brick, your USB-C, and the travel charger, and even the Apple Watch charger. This charger comes completely flat, very slim and sturdy. It's got USB-C on the back and then moving to the front, you see a familiar magnetic array and the Qi 2 indicator. Opening it up, it really feels like it has a really sturdy hinge with multiple viewing angles. Then it has the AirPods charger on the back that sits right behind the phone. Then a port for the Apple Watch charger, which just plugs in. Simply remove the magnet from the charger, swap it to the back, and then plug in the USB-C for easy assembly. The Apple Watch charger is similar to the charger we saw previously, and what I like here is that they've designed it with enough room that you can fit the Apple Watch including up to the Ultra, and still have room to put your AirPods in the back, which is a great design. 
This is my favorite Qi 2 charger right now just because it's convenient. I like something that I can travel with to charge all of my devices, but it also has a flexible stand so I can use standby mode, unlike a lot of chargers for traveling that just kind of lay flat. Everything has a spot in the travel case and it all packs up really sleek and easy to take on the go. Speaking of portability, now we've got the Anchor MagGo power bank. This is a 10,000 milliamp power bank, which gets 1.5 charges of the iPhone 15 Pro Max. It's obviously noticeably heavy because it's 10,000 milliamps, but I think that's probably worth it for the amount of battery you're getting here. You're getting USB-C charging on the side. On the back, you're getting a magnetic stand that pops open, which is really handy, also very sturdy. On the other side, you're getting a display, which will tell you the charge of the battery when you hit the button. If you attach a device, it shows you the power is outgoing with an arrow and the power remaining unless you plug it in while it's charging, which it gives you unlimited time of charging. Then if you plug it in, it's just gonna show you the amount of time to charge until it's full battery. Overall, this is really handy to have as an on the go charger. I like that you can use pass through power. You could technically use this on a nightstand if you wanted to. The display is really important to have so that you know if there's enough of a charge when you're on the go with this thing. It might be a little heavy for some people, but if you have an iPhone 15 Pro Max, you're likely used to it. Overall, it's one of my top choices. I really think that Anchor did a great job on this one. Next up, we've got the wireless car charger from ESR. This was one of the first MagSafe accessories I did back in the day when they first launched, and I'm really glad to see they've kept nearly everything about this thing the same year over year, except with the addition of G2. Coming in multiple car configurations, this is a vent mount option where you have a clip that connects into your vent, then an adjustable stand on the bottom to hold it in place. On the bottom, there's a USB-C plug if you wanna charge while you drive, and an LED indicator on the side. But the reason most people buy this is of course the magnets on the front, which are extremely strong. That's important because if you're on a bumpy drive, you don't want your phone to just go flying. I've been using variations of this device for like four years now, and I can't recommend it enough if you need a charging mount in the car. I think if you're selecting one or two of these products, you probably want them to be versatile, something compact that you can use as a proper stand, but also take with you. So my first choice is that travel wireless charger. You can use it on a nightstand, you can take it with you traveling, and no matter what, you're always covered. The second choice for me would be the wireless car charger because it's really nice to be able to mount your phone, especially if you're using wireless CarPlay and you also wanna charge your phone while you're driving. My third pick would be the three-in-one wireless charging set because it's compact, but it has a really nice tall stance, which is perfect for a desk. The other two options, including the mini wireless charger and the charging bank are nice to haves in my opinion. Both work great, but personally, I feel covered with the combo of the other three products. So let me know out of all of these products, which one you'll actually be picking up. I'm still using these products daily at this point, so if you have any questions, drop them in the comments. As always, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.